When people calorie restrict their food, the brain immediately recognizes something is wrong and it actually will stimulate appetite, stimulate cravings, desire for certain nutrients that it's lacking and missing in a diet. With the sleeve gastrectomy and the gastric bypass, those alterations to the anatomy short circuit that message to the brain. And the brain now says, I am overweight, I am over fat, and it will allow weight loss to occur. The procedures are broken down into a restrictive and a malabsorptive uh, type of procedure. The restrictive procedures are mainly those that um, basically you create a small stomach pouch. By doing that, it makes you feel full with less food. Lap band and sleep gastrectomy are restrictive procedures, so they don't have any malabsorption. So you, you don't have as many of the vitamin deficiencies as you might have with a bypass, but you also have to be much more stringent in your diet. Um, so someone who maybe is of a lower BMI and of a certain lifestyle, that, that would be a good choice for them. Uh, the much higher BMIs, I feel, a, a gastric bypass is probably the gold standard, although the, the sleeve gastrectomy is starting to show good promise in that field. Gastric bypass surgery has changed immensely over the last 10 years. Not only are we doing 99% per percent of the operations laparoscopically, which small incisions, you have less pain for the patient. You have patients able to walk an hour after the operation. Uh, you have a reduction in pneumonias, you have a reduction in hernias, you have a reduction in pain, pain medications utilized. Um, patients walk out of the hospital within two days as if they've had nothing done in most cases.